All right guys, so I have all my ribs cut and you can see I have this uh, one framed up. I'm getting ready to put the bender board on. Um, this is actually the centerpiece and it's gonna have a little round window in it. So I've got all my glue on there. I'm getting ready to shoot it on. See that way up high? Oh my gosh. Could it be part of the roof going up? Woo-wee! Chris is still working on the sides. He had to make a few adjustments and pretty soon we'll have a whole side of roof right here and a whole side of roof over there. And yeah, it's coming together. Almost done building this thing. Woo-hoo! I just finished building this little pop-out window. I used a bender board and plywood and some one by three and stuff. Um, let me take you around. Just real, real simple. I used bender board along the inside. I cut some plywood circles and cut them out and then stapled in the corners. And then I used bender board around that outside and then I just added uh, some more plywood and did another layer of bender board. So real simple. Nothing real too fancy. It looks better from the other side. But I just thought I would show you guys this before Gina paints it. Just gonna do some little crackle magic. Got uh, four little coffins there. Okay, I just finished skinning the rest of the bell-shaped roof pieces. There are three center pieces here and then there's two sides. I skinned them with uh, 3 16 bender board and I burned through about five sheets, uh, five four by eight sheets total. Um, these are going to get painted black and, uh, and then we're going to attach some of Gina's aged shingles to them. Okay, so I just finished doing the little uh, rooftop piece that will go on after I've got all these sections together and all lined up. Um, once I set this thing up, um, I'll put this piece on top. Um, right now I'm getting ready to do the, uh, I'm going to weld up the little metal ornamentation that will go on the roof line you know like the little kind of bent up fencing and stuff that you see on a lot of the old haunted houses like Adam's family and that kind of thing so I'm using a half inch uh, 16 gauge steel it was some of the smallest uh, tube steel that I could find I'm going to first clean it with some acetone get all the grease off of it Get it all nice and clean and then I'll start making uh, my cuts and stuff and then I'll weld this stuff together. This decorative piece that I made here is uh, I used some one by what I think one by four for the bottom and then I attached some one by three to it and you can kind of see I just basically stapled it all together and it's gonna be you know a piece that just sits on and we'll screw to the tops of all these these little pieces of uh, the bell roof. We gotta get all this stuff painted before we put it up because it's gonna be too hard to paint this whole thing when, when it's all up in the air. So, there you go. All right guys, I am still welding some of the decorative roof pieces. Uh, one is finished here. Gina's already started rusting it. This is uh, gonna give you basically an idea of kind of what we're doing. You know, you can see that I, I took some of these metal pieces and, and stuck them in a vise and kind of beat them up and bent them and then um, I just zapped them uh, on each side. You got a little zap there and then one there. And I, I wanted to make them look kind of bent up. And then uh, they have a couple of these little flat plates. I drilled a little hole there and I'm just gonna use a drywall screw and basically screw it into the tops of my uh, of my roof sections. There are going to be four of these. Um, these are what go ab above the the two sides and or the wings of the mansion I should say and then I'm gonna have um, one that goes above the bell-shaped roof that's kind of a, uh, a half square. So I'm excited to see what these are gonna look like.